Hello everyone and welcome back to WoW Classic. We are on the Priest today and we are back in Feralus. And I'm taking this boat for the first time over to the shore here to the mainland. I think today we're going to investigate this area to the west of Camp Mohaje. One of you guys let me know that there, there may be a quest chain that starts somewhere over there near the camp. I'm not sure if it was in the lower wilds or over here, but I'm going to investigate this part of the map. And just to get it uncovered. And that way we'll know what is and isn't there. And if there are quests there, that would be great. Uh, if not, we do have water elementals to fight, so I might take on some water elementals while we are over here. Might be a good idea just to check and see how their drop rate's doing this morning. I keep forgetting what quest this guy has. I got what you need. Oh, the zapped giants. Oh, that's right. I didn't have the item for this. Glad I could help. And so we abandoned the quest. Okay, this time I won't get rid of the item. And I think we use that on the giants that are that are over here, don't we? The sea giants? I think we use it on these guys. We're gonna find out right now. Well, not right now. We're gonna find out right after we defeat the sea elemental. I hope you are all doing well today. And I did want to say thank you so much for being here with me. And for all the support you guys give on the series, I really appreciate it. That support is one of the things that allows me to be here and to play the games that I love, so thank you very much. There we go. <laughs> now he looks more manageable. Oh, he's still hitting pretty hard though, isn't he? Wow, we need 15 of those. 15 of these guys. Alright, I did want to work on some keybinds here. Let me go to my action bar. Special action one. Is that is that the buttons that are gonna be up here? Let me just see something. Nope, that's not doing anything. I'm trying to bind these keys up here to my shift uh, F keys. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that, that's... Oh, we didn't finalize it. <laughs> it's been bothering me for a while, not having these uh, buttons bound. Ideally, I don't want to have to click anything, and I've been clicking this cooldown. Let's hit OK this time. There we go, that will make life a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna fear him. We've hit him with a couple of things and he's taken zero damage, so I'm gonna get him out of here for a minute. Although I sometimes wish they would not outrange us when they're feared. That would be great.
I feel like we don't need to hold back as much with mana now that we have 105 Morning Glory do. That's a good feeling to have. Not that I want to spend all of our time drinking, but... I feel like some of the time we save in combat makes up for it. Let's grab this Water Elemental first. I'm assuming there's no social aggro between these guys. Kind of hoping that Shadow Word Pain would take care of that guy there on his run, but it didn't. Yeah, these guys, these guys almost still hit like they're elites. They don't have the health pool of elites, but man, can he chunk our health when he starts swinging. At least it seems like the miniaturization residue is 100% drop off of those dudes after we have shrunk them down and defeated them. I don't know if we're going to work on this to completion now. Probably not. I really do want to run over and explore the other parts of the map here. Just to make sure that uh, we get all the quests that we can. If there are any over there that we haven't picked up, I'd like to grab those. At the same time, we do need to be working on both of these quests. Oh look, there's actually people out here in Fairless this morning. Yeah, there's a few people. Some of you guys have had questions about how many people are actually logged in and doing the leveling experience uh, the traditional way. And how the zones feel, if they feel empty of players. Um, it depends on the zone, but it's 6.40 here in the morning where I'm at. And we've already got a handful of people online in Fairless, which... It's one of those questing zones where once you get into the level 40s, um, you are really stretched out as a player base as to where you can level. So even having a handful of people here at 6.40 in the morning is pretty surprising. Alright, I 
think I'm done with this for now. And I think that I just want to go ahead and head towards the east. Well, we could take these guys on since they're in our way. Let's do that. God, the drop rate from these guys uh, it has just been really, really painful. It's basically stopped me from wanting to come complete this quest on my own time because I feel like with the drop rate the way it is, it's going to take about two hours to get the rest of these cores. That's a long time to spend on one quest. Even in WoW Classic. Just have to say it because it's true. At this point, I'll, I'll, we'll probably finish the Zapped Giants quest before we ever finish this Water Elemental quest. Alright, that's enough of that. And we should be able to get over there pretty quickly on the on the mount.
I feel like level 40 to 50 really needs one more full zone of questing. I'd love to be able to go to like Fellwood or one of the eastern or western plague lands at around level 40 to 50. I feel like that would that would really ease the way at least towards getting to level 50. And then you just have those last 10 levels to, to grind out. I think once we do hit level 50, we could probably go into Ungoro Crater, and there should be a lot of things for us to do there. We just, we literally can't go there until we're about level 50 though. I don't think it's a zone we can go to at level 46. Somebody suggested that I run Zulfarak, it's a really good idea. I'd love to do more dungeons. A lot of times, the times that I'm on that I have to dedicate to playing, well, sometimes they're like this, where they're at 6.40 in the morning. and It's hard to find a an actual dungeon group these days as it is. A lot of people prefer to do the boost from a higher level character and just get run through the dungeon, so it's hard to often get together a full group of pugs, so... It just is made more complicated by the time of day sometimes. And then you never know if those runs are going to be like an hour run, or is it going to be a two and a half hour run? It's, it's really hard to tell, and it depends a lot on the players. Ooh, we went right by this area. Let's double back here. And see what's going on. We've got a sprite darter. A lot of sprite darters that are friendly. That's interesting. All right, little buddies, uh, we have some not-so-friendly Grim Totem Raiders. And a lot of bears. Uh, we seem to have angered a shaman. Whoops, what did I do? Switched my action bars, not what we wanted. I thought maybe discovering this little camp would un uncover the area on the map, but it hasn't. Let's go a little bit further to the north. It does seem like, you know, we would have a quest for the Grim Totem, but maybe that's more on the Horde side. They seem like they're more enemies of the Horde. I don't know. I mean, they would be our enemies, too. It just seems like we would have less reason to want to deal with them. Okay, so yeah, it's this whole Grim Totem compound. I don't think we're going to find a, a quest over here that anybody's going to give us. They have druids. Hello there. Didn't see you hiding behind that pillar. Well, we almost killed him before he got the big heal off. It was close. Just want to look inside of this building if we can. Yeah, nobody in there with a quest either. 
Let's run up here. And we can kind of circle around the main camp, perhaps. Uh, gnolls, a bunch of gnolls. Uh, do we want to run through them? Uh, questionable. Questionable. Let's try to keep some distance so they can't immediately daze us. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to do that. Okay, good. We didn't get dismounted. I want to investigate these ruins. Okay, that dismounted us. We're in combat. Oh, hello. Oh, we were in combat for a, a brief moment. Laris Pavilion. It seems like a place where we would find a quest, but hey, well, it goes down into the ground. Let's go talk to this lone night elf and see what his story is, if he has anything at all to say to us, uh, which he doesn't. Oz Torden, he looks like he's just being depressed. He looks very sad. All right, down we go. This is a very cool area. I've never seen a, a building like this with this raised uh, stage or, or I guess this is some kind of DS or something. And then this ramp that leads down into it. I haven't seen this before. Oh, it's not going to take us. Oh, look at that. Door is locked. Requires the crescent key. It's not a dire mall thing. I'd love to know where to get the crescent key if you guys have any idea. Because this is not leading us anywhere except to that door. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if there's any way we can get back into this area that we see on the map here. Or if maybe that's where that door leads us uh, through an underground passage. It almost seems like we could get up right there, but uh, maybe not? That seems kind of silly. We can't walk up that. There we go, we got around that way. Okay, Gorduni Outpost. So these guys have an outpost of weak, lower level Gorduni ogres up here. Not sure if it was a really smart idea to be just running through their camp like this. I mean, the answer to that is, like, invariably no, it's not a good idea. Whether or not it's going to come out okay, yeah, it looks like it's going to be alright. Um, oh well, well, we don't really want to get stopped here, do we? Alright, we're going to go down, I guess. Descend the mountainside here.
and end up way on this side. Alright, well that's the entire area basically explored. Um, if there are any quests hiding over here somewhere, uh, I'd love to know more specifically where they would be at. I've I kind of investigated all the areas that the map leads us to naturally by just examining it and thinking about where we could go. So if there are any quests here, I feel like they'd have to be hidden somewhere pretty specific. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where else we would find a quest giver, but Blizzard in Classic sometimes, you know, they they often will put a quest giver just in the middle of, the, of nowhere on a hill, and then it often seems like unless you know that guy's there, there's nothing that would ever take you to him. Because yeah, there were quests over here at Thalinar, but that was a long time ago. We already we've already grabbed those, I think, and done them. But since we're over here, we'll just we'll just go back out and we'll double check, but I don't think anything new has popped up over here. Yeah, nothing new going on uh, over in this little camp, unfortunately. So yeah, we're still kind of where we have been, just trying to find uh, some more quests to do. Granted, we have these quests to slowly peck away at, and that's fine. Eventually, I'm just going to finish those quests on my own. I think we've seen enough of water elementals and... Well, we've seen enough of that area in general for one playthrough, so I'll probably just finish those up at some point. Uh, in Tanneris, we have a couple of things, but they're a little bit out of our level range, so I don't know if we want to work on them yet. One place I might go back to is, I, I might go back to Stranglethorn. And see if there are any quests that have opened up there in the, in the mid to late 40s that we didn't have before. Might be a good idea. I could check uh, around a couple of the hubs there and see what is going on over there. Unfortunately, it's all the way over on the other continent, so if we want to do that, it just takes some time to get over there, and then if we get over there and we look, well, that's a wasted time, right? But I will put some thought into it. Let me know, guys, if I'm missing any quest here in the zone. Like I said, I, I, we've uncovered everything except for this small area up here. Uh, but if we did miss any quest givers somewhere, just give me a quadrant of the map uh, to kind of look at. And if you can narrow it down by using one of the existing markers on the map, like it's southeast of the Garduni outpost or it's east of the Grim Totem compound, that would help out a lot just to narrow down the search parameters for me a little bit. Uh, but either way... Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really appreciate all the support. Let me know what you think. And we will be back soon. We will either be here in Feralis or maybe we'll be in Stranglethorn or elsewhere. I will figure that out uh, in the meantime. So take care of yourselves guys and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.